while Tesla CEO Elon Musk promises Tesla design overhaul at Giga Berlin factory. Uh, Giga Berlin's responsible person and boss Ivan Horetsky explains what it takes to build Giga Berlin and what it takes to run Giga Berlin in a, a detailed tweet. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Uh, Tesla CEO uh, uh, Elon Musk said Tesla will use its plant uh, in Brandenburg, Germany to demonstrate radical overhaul uh, of how its cars are built. And uh, we are thinking radical overhaul. If you remember several days ago, when actually when he was in Germany, he said there will be complete uh, re, uh, radical redesign of Model 3. So we're thinking that that may mean a smaller Model 3 for Europe but we don't know yet but in the meantime if you remember several days ago tesla's um, uh, brandenburg's uh, economy minister Jörg steinbach um, had very good words about the man who is in charge of building giga berlin even uh, even uh, horetsky and uh, he even called him like giga boss or something like that for the tesla giga berlin and today uh, even horetsky who hasn't been tweeting much since for a long time and has been kind of under shadows we didn't know much about him or actually anything with him um responded in a new tweet saying i am flattered and honored and then he went saying this is about tesla though Every corner of Tesla requires presence, aggressive problem solving, creativity, data driven decisions and humble teamwork. I'm simply lucky to have great mentors along the way. Avon Rond on his Twitter page. Uh, at Evan Horetsky. So let's take a look at this tweet. Let's, let's kind of decipher it. What does it take to build a huge uh, Tesla Giga Berlin factory? Uh, one thing that he mentioned at the end, I'm bringing it to the beginning, um, to have great mentors along the way. So I think one of the, those mentors is the uh, Elon Musk and then Tesla team in uh, Fremont and then as well as uh, the local government in Germany, people like Jörg Steinbach, who has been uh, very supportive of Giga Berlin and the Giga Berlin's construction and as well as some other uh, officials in uh, in Brandenburg and Germany. Also, uh, uh, Ivan Horetsky also says um, uh, that uh, building Tesla Giga Berlin, every corner of Tesla requires presence. That means you have to be there present and make sure everything is done on, uh, on time, make sure everything is brought on time, supply comes, work is done, requires presence. And then he says it requires aggressive problem solving. That makes very good sense. It's a huge company, huge enterprise. And yes, you have to be very aggressive in your problem solving. It requires creativity, he says, and makes very good sense. And then data driven decision. Uh, of course, when you are dealing with such a huge company, your decisions can't be your creativity can't be just like that can't be spontaneous. Every decision, every problem solving, creativity, and uh, requires data driven decisions. And then, of course, one thing I really liked here is it requires humble teamwork. Yes, humble, so they can be collaborative because a lot of people are working there and it has been amazing personally for me how things were going. So this is what it takes to run Giga Berlin. Now, the excitement about Tesla battery day on September 22nd is ramping up as electric vehicle funds eagerly await in the United States and in the world to uh, to often delay the uh, battery day. Speculation is high that Elon and his crew will announce some major new battery technology that day. But, but the major focus, Elon's focus, seems to be on uh, Tesla's products, Tesla's vehicles, uh, product that makes the vehicles, Tesla's, uh, uh, Tesla's um, factories, uh, the construction at Giga Berlin and construction at Giga Texas, as well as the phase two. Uh, St Steve Hanley um, writes uh, uh, at uh, 
uh, that the clean technica uh, how elon taught toots radical manufacturing redesign at tesla saying musk was in berlin earlier this month and the site of tesla's first european factory where he told those in attendance that model y made there will look the same on the outside but will be radically different beneath the sheet metal according to a report by reuters uh, reuters report quotes must saying it will be the first time that there will be a transformation in the core structural design of the vehicle it's quite a big thing both manufacturing engineering and design as well so does that mean that tesla model y produced at giga berlin will, y will be similar maybe a little small because european uh, it will benefit european drivers because of the kind of traffic because of the generally uh, streets being uh, narrower in europe and uh, europe has always been standing out with a rather smaller cars in general I don't know. We'll see. And then Steve continues in Clean Technica saying those remarks build on Musk's statement during the quarter two earnings call earlier this year in which he said we're really changing the design of the Tesla Model Y to make it more manufacturable. The fundamental architecture of the Model Y will be different in Berlin. It may look the same, but the internals will be quite different and fundamentally more architecturally efficient than what we have done to date. End of the quote. This seems to suggest more casting like those being produced in the high pressure casting machine recently installed in the Fremont factory. I have reported earlier that Tesla will bring eight huge giga pressors giga casting machines to giga berlin and uh, they will abandon a lot of robo robots hundreds of robots and in fact look for my next story uh, an exclusive story that uh, the source is uh, tesla mac talking about how tesla wants to cast the front frame part in one piece for german model y at giga berlin so that story is coming right after this friends now uh, musk reiterated his focus on moving the electric vehicle revolution forward more quickly but also mentioned his desire to lead the transition to sustainable energy the three elements needed for a sustainable energy future are sustainable energy generation energy storage and sustainable transport electric cars i think we will be building some batteries and cells and other things there that will be good for stationary storage and wind and solar musk stated Tesla has recently obtained a license to trade electricity across Western Europe. Um, Hensley also continues in Clean Tactica saying Musk pronounced himself pleased with the pro progress being made on the new factory and praised the availability of so much local engineering talent. No wonder Ivan Horetsky uh, of uh, the Giga boss of uh, the Giga, uh, uh, the boss of G Tesla Giga Berlin said that he is, uh, it requires humble teamwork musk went on saying we will start off with the factory but we will also do some original engineering and design work it is going to be actually to be totally frank better than the one in the united states he claims the paint shop will be the most advanced in the world that's good thing as one of the common complaints about new teslas tesla vehicles from fremont involves defects in paint so as you can see things are going well at giga, giga berlin and uh, uh, looks like the team is doing a great work there and uh, it requires presence aggressive problem solving creativity data-driven decision and humble teamwork we're glad to see this progress at giga berlin friends in the meantime this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next tesla story which is going to be about uh, the front frame made of one piece at giga berlin exclusive news report look forward to that have a wonderful day and peace be with all of you